I don't know. I've been thinking of these three words a lot uh, and how it's baked into my career. Um, and, you know, maybe I'm a product of the 90s. Uh, no one's going to know that reference. Thank you, Carrie, for laughing. Thank you. But in the 90s, there was a show called You Can't Do That on Television, and if you said I don't know, you would get green slimed. I don't know. This phrase feels like it's a sign of weakness for, for the old guard. You know, maybe in business, it's not polite to say I don't know. You have to fake it. You've got to write a book. You've been a bullshit consultant to say I know what you need. But for me, I like saying I don't know. I also should disclose that I whipped up these slides in 10 minutes. I don't know how I'm going to do. But I left the newsroom because I found that our news industry, the industry was uh, run by hippos. Uh, that's the buzz term for highest paid person's opinions. And I was tired of the bullshit. Many of us are here because we're tired of the bullshit. And that bullshit comes from pretending to have the answers besides I don't know. And for me and for other folks that I've talked about, uh, talked with, or actually, that's a letter transition. When I left the newsroom, I ended up being a professor where the dynamic is very traditional. You're in front of the class. You can't say you don't know. They're paying a whole hell of a lot of money at USC, at a private institution, for you to have all the answers. And in my first evals, they didn't like my answer, which was Google it. <laughs> I'm teaching you how to fish, son. <laughs> So I started to, to think about it, and I don't like to pretend that I know. I felt freedom of embracing the terms, I don't know. In fact, I think I don't know is the secret sauce to the internet, to own the internet, which is captured in this image. <laughs> I don't know gives you the power to, to ride a unicorn off in the sunset as a kitten. I don't know is something that I think is so freeing that allows you to start asking questions in a very positive way. I saw this slide, I loved it, let me read it to you. If the Internet Explorer is brave enough to ask you to be their default browser, you should be brave enough to ask that girl out or do an Ignite talk that I tried to cancel earlier tonight. <clears throat> I took speech class three times before I passed it. But don't get it twisted. I thought about the audience here and many of us are uh, newsroom leaders. Uh, I'm going to bite my tongue and say very known brands uh, that have been traditionally leading newsrooms, leading industries, and I don't want you to hide behind, I don't know. I don't want you to say, I don't know, but I've been a newspaper person for 30 years, and let me tell you, kid, how you're supposed to do it, right? Don't use I don't know as an excuse. The way that I look at I don't know is something that was coined by Robert Krolwich in 2011 at the UC Berkeley commencement speech, Horizontal Loyalty, where you may not know what it is, but your, your task is to build something together with your peers. It's not about making the money. It's not about selling books or, or being the head of a newspaper. It's about building something that you care about with people, genuine engagement. I'm a product of the 80s and 90s. Taking that leap of faith, this is my favorite Indiana Jones, don't judge me, Last Crusade, where he takes the leap of faith. But this I don't know is that part of that journey where you just stick your leg out, you step, and you land. And I started to embrace that in my teaching. And a student told me, you teach like this. This, for those who don't know, is from South Park. The underwear gnomes, and this is their business plan. Step one, steal underpants. Step two, I don't know. Step three, profits. That's how I frame my class. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to do augmented reality. We're going to do wearables. What are we going to do during the semester? I don't know. But at the end, not profits, but learning. I also want to demystify the I don't know by having that meme up there where I don't know the coding. I don't know why it's working. I'm not sure why it's not working. But you hack at it. I also don't know when people ask me, hey, you nerd out on Google Glass and you embrace the douchiness that is on your face, uh, or wearable technologies, what is wearable journalism? I don't know, but let's find out. That's the key for me. It's not just I don't know, but it's I don't know, but let's find out. Something that is done by, by getting a group of people together where they know that they're not only teachers, but they're learners. I'm excited with my students where I'm an equal to them. I don't have all the answers. And they know when I say Google it, they're, they're figuring it out. They're learning how to fish. And they can even.
trying to turn that phrase around. Thank you, guys.